What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy. We're back with another video. And today, 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 we're going to get into another interesting video topic. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody already seen the news. It's not too big of a news. Um, so I'm not dropping this video in like that type of way. Like, oh my God, he signed. We kind of already knew that the Browns and Andrew Berry was going to be able to handle business. Uh, we've been running as a good organization over the last five years since he's been the general manager. Um, and then this is just another situation on top of that showing um, how well ran the Cleveland Browns have been as an organization under Andrew Berry. So first thing first, make sure I like and subscribe. Uh, we about to go and get into this video. So Amari Cooper signed for twenty five million. It's crazy. I've been saying it. Um, I just started my new podcast. It's kind of like a podcast, but it's really like a show uh, over there. It's called Down in the Two One Six. It's gonna be in the description down below. Uh, we just dropped two videos, two hour episodes, so two hour worth of content on there. If you guys want to go and check that out, it's all Cleveland media. So um, me, mostly just Browns. Cavs and then casual sports talk, you know. Um, so, but we don't talk too much about the Guardians unless, you know, casually. I, I watch the Guardians a little bit, you know, I know the players and all that. Um, but I don't watch games really. I'm not too big on baseball. But, anyways, back into it. Mari Cooper. Um, so he signed for 25 mil. I've been saying 25 mil the whole time. I find it funny that's that's exactly the amount he ended up signing for. Uh, it's a one year deal. What does that mean? I don't know. Most people would assume that he's going to be gone, but it's been a lot of scenarios. Kareem Hunt, for example, where a guy plays good, and when he plays good, he ends up, hey, we loving this guy. You know, the, the city loves him. Um, like another good year of Amari Cooper, the city's going to love him. Uh, same shit that happened with Kareem Hunt when Kareem Hunt had those great seasons, um, playing, being able to get touchdowns, still being able to give an effort. You know, we still brought Kareem Hunt back. He still signed multiple one-year deals here with us. I think Amari Cooper could still be that same kind of scenario. Um, and that's if Amari Cooper, you know, likes playing for the Browns. Like, if the Browns have a good season, if we say we win 11 games, go out in the second round, um, and then Amari Cooper's not getting no crazy deals, he'll take another one-year deal and just stay comfortable in Cleveland. Um, but if it's a scenario where somebody's offering him, like, 30, four years, He's going to take that 30 in four years and, you know, he's going to be on his way. Uh, but I don't think that's going to be a scenario where the Browns are going to offer him 30. Um, I think the Cleveland Browns have the opportunity to do something here with their wide receiver room. And I think they're trying to set up something. If you really kind of look at the way they're, they've been moving about things and going about things, they were targeting Jerry Judy for what, uh, maybe three seasons, two to three seasons targeting Jerry Judy eventually got him over this last offseason with that trade and that move. Um, they were targeting Sean Watson. Probably about two or three seasons eventually got him. Um, a player that I know and we've all know that they've been targeting T. Higgins is going to be a, a free agent coming up into this uh, this year. After this deal with the Bengals, he's on a franchise deal. I don't think they can franchise tag him twice and they also need to pay Jamar Chase. A lot of moving parts there. So this is probably T. Higgins' last year of his deal. You know T. Higgins have a relationship with Deshaun Watson. You know T. Higgins has also been linked with the Browns. The Browns been linked to trying to get T. Higgins. They would have made and went after him this season and would have gave him a big deal. Um, I think the Browns' dream scenario as far as with a wide receiver room, um, just to get straight to the point, I think they, they want T. Higgins. Jerry Judy is the wide receiver two. Elijah Moore is the wide receiver three. And then Chedrick Tillman and a mixture of another receiver. That's getting a guy in a draft. Um, or one of these guys developing into a nice key role player, like another Donovan Peoples Jones type of level of a player. Um, I think that's going to be the their way of uh, maneuvering and upgrading and rebuilding this wide receiver room. You will have T. Higgins, still young. Jerry Judy, still young. Elijah Moore, still young. Um, all guys that's under the age of 26. Uh, getting away from Amore Cooper, who's, what, 30. Getting away from Brandon Ayuk, who's 26. You keeping your wide receiver core well, relatively young. Um, you can resign those guys and keep it throughout. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's the way they're looking and go about it. Now, if you look into this draft, would you assume, just glancing over this draft, would it be a wide receiver? 
or a pick or somebody that we could see that the Browns can target and go towards. Um, looking at it, I really don't. Um, let me grab my laptop real quick, don't mind me. But um, there's a couple guys in here that's very notable. Uh, you know, if Travis Turner maybe, um, you know, converts over and becomes a full-time wide receiver, maybe that's the guy you look. Um, you got Amika Agba, um, that's with Ohio State. Um, I know they have another guy, I think his name is Josh Smith, but I don't know if he's draft eligible yet. Um, and then you got, you know, Luther Burton. Um, and then one big body 6'5 guy, uh, McMillan out of Arizona. So maybe that's a guy you target. Um, getting a big body like that in a draft, then the pairing it with maybe T. Higgins, Elijah Moore, Jerry Judy, Cedric Tillman. That's a really dangerous wide receiver room. Um, but I do think they probably will elect to go to an uh, offensive tackle um, in the in the draft. I think that makes the most sense. Attacking that position, going to get a – what do we need, a, a left tackle? Yeah, I, I think going to get a left tackle would be a, a more of a, you know, a smarter sense than going at a wide receiver. Only because you already be deep at that position. You already got Jerry Judy's on the books. You could easily just re-sign Maury Cooper next year. Um, Elijah Moore is already on the books. And then you also do have Cedric Tillman. Um, not to mention, you do got David Bell, who hasn't been given the opportunities to do so. So you could just give David Bell more opportunities um, and see if that works out and pans out. Because he does have potential there. So I think it's a lot of ways that, this, that Andrew Berry could be flexible uh, with this team. You guys comment down below what y'all feel and how y'all see it. Where do you think this will end up paying out? Do you think Amari Cooper will walk after this year? Um, do you feel like the Browns will try to retain him next year? And then how, how do you feel about the contract? Was 25 too much? Not enough. I think 25 was pretty much reasonable. I mean, he's a, a number one receiver. He proved that last year. Um, he was getting 20 already. You could just pretty much give him an upgrade with the stock and with the cap and everything going up. Just give him a 5% upgrade. Um, I don't think it does anything to the salary cap or anything like that. So I think they're still flexible and still able to do the things they want to do. If they wanted to make a move for Brandon Ayuk, even though I don't think they will, if they wanted to make a move for Brandon Ayuk, they still could. Um, so a lot to mention there. You guys comment down below your, uh, your thoughts. I said comment down below. I think I said it wrong. But y'all comment down below your thoughts. It's your boy Will. I'm out.